back, lots of church congregations face questions and heartache over the sex abuse claims within the Southern Baptist Convention. It is the nation's largest Protestant denomination with lots of member churches in East Tennessee. Last night, the convention released a previously secret list of people connected with churches from pastors to staffers. Hundreds accused of sexual abuse. The move comes as a response to an investigation into the handling of abuse reports by Southern Baptist leadership, along with a list that probe revealed that some on the list had not been removed from positions of authority. WATE 6 on your side reporter Veronica Obey caught up with a local Baptist pastor for our top story. Veronica, how is his church coping with this? Well, Lori, Pastor Brent McDougall of for First Baptist Knoxville says although none of the members of his church were found on the list, he hopes this is a wake-up call for the Southern Baptist denomination, especially since some of the names do come from our area. Now he says there needs to be room at the table for a much larger conversation. Unless more light is, is brought on this, um, uh, on this pattern of denial, then nothing is going to change. Senior Pastor Brent McDougal of First Baptist Knoxville saw what was released on Sunday by the Southern Baptist Convention, stating some of the information that survivors and other concerned members shared across the country, including allegations that were dismissed for over two decades by Southern Baptist church leaders. I was especially saddened by the way that those who were coming forward to make claims of sexual abuse were treated uh, with uh, just a, an incredible um, sense of dismissiveness. Following the information put out on Sunday, Thursday night, a list of hundreds of pastors and others involved in many of these allegations were exposed. What's happened uh, to date is that those who are bringing accusations have not been heard. They've not been supported. We should have been showing care for those who were victims of abuse as opposed to protecting the organization. For Pastor McDougall, he says his church has written guidelines to help prevent sexual abuse against children or adults. They do things like background checks or assign two or more adults to be around a child, doing all of this and more in hopes of providing a safe environment. But we need to be constantly looking at best practices and talking about how how are we protecting kids because we want it to be a safe space for everybody. And Pastor McDougall also says that a possible solution could be to establish an ongoing investigative commission that eventually becomes a permanent entity in order to work on reforms. Lexi. All right, now another idea we heard from that pastor today, talking not only with one another, but with your children about sexual abuse. Yeah, the RAIN organization, that's the nation's largest anti-sexual violence group, suggests teaching a child about body parts that are private, telling them it's okay to say no, and reassurance that they can talk to you. Now, we also want to remind adults of the East Tennessee Sexual Assault Center hotline that is available 24-7. The number, you see it on your screen. I'm going to read it here. It's 865-522-7273. And more information now, taking a look at this, we mm -hmm. checked and found a few local names on the list of alleged abusers. It's worth noting that this list was pulled largely from news articles from 2007 to 2022. And it even comes with a disclaimer that the list is incomplete, unconfirmed, and not strictly limited to Baptists. We've reported on some of these local allegations before, like those against Courtney Bingham, a former youth leader at Bethany Baptist Church in Loudoun County. In 2018, she was charged with statutory rape and pleaded guilty in 2020. Also on the list, Randall Hollifield, a youth volunteer at New Beverly Baptist Church in Knoxville. We first told you about him in 2009. Hollifield admitted to molesting three young boys, including his stepson. He was sentenced to 50 years in prison. That same year, we brought you the arrest of Larry Whitley, a.k.a. Robert Moon, a sex offender from Georgia found in Knoxville. According to this list, he was volunteering at a Baptist church, but the name of the church is not listed. Also, the document names John Randy Lemming, who pastored Antioch Baptist Church in Sevierville. Lemming reportedly pleaded guilty to rape charges in the 90s, then was hired by the church in 2014. Last year, the convention cut ties with Antioch Baptist. 